Facebook on the run for three and a half years, and now the so-called Facebook fugitive and Western New Yorker Paul Seglia is in custody. Tonight, we're still awaiting word from U.S. authorities about when he'll see a courtroom. Two on your side was the first to report on his arrest in Ecuador this morning, and our Jeff Preval digs deeper into the case. We still don't know where Paul Seglia is being kept since his arrest Thursday morning, and we don't know if any bail conditions were set. The U.S. Marshals Service is not commenting. What we do know is what's written in this federal court document. Seglia was arrested in Ecuador and will be brought to court in Ecuador's capital sometime Friday. And prosecutors are looking to extradite Seglia to the U.S. to face charges in his alleged scheme to defraud Facebook and Mark Zuckerberg of millions of dollars. More than three years ago, Seglia, who's from Wellsville, was on home detention, monitored by an ankle bracelet. He used an elaborate contraption rigged up to the ceiling to keep the ankle bracelet moving. While Seglia left his home undetected, his wife and two sons also vanished. According to our sources, Seglia's wife was tired of living in Ecuador and tipped off her sister, who then tipped off someone else who eventually informed authorities. Bernie Tolbert, a former FBI official in Buffalo with no knowledge of the Seglia investigation, spoke to me about tracking international fugitives. What is that process in terms of corroborating that intelligence to make sure that, in fact, he is there and that is him? And there are FBI agents assigned to another country, stationed out of the U.S. Embassy, and they will be responsible for coordinating any efforts on the part of the U.S. government. The extradition process, is that a time-consuming one? It could range, and it would depend in part on the country and what the laws in that particular country are. Some countries have, uh, they don't recognize certain things as crimes that we may recognize as a crime in the United States. Now, the U.S. has an extradition treaty with Ecuador, but it was signed back in 1872, and the State Department has said in the past that it needs to be updated. The current treaty does not say U.S. nationals have to be extradited. We should also mention that we don't know the condition of Seglia himself or his family. I'm Jeff Preval, Channel 2 News.